In our series, Medical Price Roulette, we're sharing the story of a young man who survived massive injuries and months of recovery only to face overwhelming medical bills. Our consumer investigative correspondent, there she is, Anna Warner, joins us with more on his story. Anna, good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. And you know, the tip on this story actually came from our own David Begno, who asked me if I could investigate why this young man from Puerto Rico, who had reached out to David in desperation, basically, was facing a staggering bill, a bill for injuries that nearly killed him. We do want to mention some images may be disturbing. You're doing great. Right foot. This is how Alexis Hernandez made his way back from the accident, step by labored step, over the seven months he spent at a Texas military hospital recovering from burns all over his body. I never expected, never in my life, to live through something like this. I never imagined that I would have to live through such pain. It was January of 2019 when Hernandez, a Puerto Rico resident, arrived in Guadalajara, Mexico to begin studying to be a doctor. He was 23. I've been working really hard all my life to make this real because I had a dream to study medicine. But just two days after he arrived, he says, he went to turn on a boiler in order to get hot water for his shower. Then came the explosion. The flames were all over the apartment and the building, and I had to run through the flames in the apartment looking for a way out. In the end, I almost lost my life. Rescuers saved him and took him to a Mexican hospital, but his severe burn injuries required specialized care. So as a U.S. citizen, he was then flown to one of America's premier burn centers, the U.S. Army's Institute of Surgical Research in San Antonio. Kelly Brown was his physical therapy assistant. He had a huge percentage of burns almost all over his body. There was only a few places that, that weren't burned. So he was just in an excruciating amount of pain. Yes, yes, even with pain meds, because you can only give, you can only give so many. One of the only places not burned, the soles of his feet. Recovering meant 19 surgeries and hundreds of hours of physical therapy. I start from zero again. I learned how to walk, how to eat, how to breathe, how to see, how to dress myself, how to do everything again. He's a, a very determined young man. But he's been through more pain than any human should have to deal with. And he fought through it. He always wanted to get better. And he would always give it his best effort, and then some. Some seven months later, Hernandez walked out of the hospital then flew home to Puerto Rico. That day was amazing. To see how happy they were, it was a really special moment for me. But when he got home, he found his health insurance company, insurance provided through his father's job as a policeman, had denied payment for his medical expenses. Alexis's father says the company now refused to pay the claim, telling him it was because the accident occurred in Mexico. Then the U.S. government sent him this bill, saying for his treatment at that military burn center, he owed the U.S. Treasury $1.7 million an amount they suggested he could pay by check or by phone. What did you think when you saw this letter? Completely, completely hopeless. His local representative sent letters to the Treasury, Department of Defense, even Attorney General William Barr last year, asking that the debt be forgiven. There has been no response. So he's trying to move on, despite owing all that money. What keeps driving you forward? I mean, why are you so determined? This is because I got a second chance. I feel fortunate. I am grateful that I can see the light of the day every day. Not everyone has a second chance. I'm not going to waste it. And he wants to use that second chance, he says, to help others by going back to medical school and finally becoming a doctor if the debt doesn't stand in his way. I am working so hard to go back to school and maybe with this, I'm not gonna be able to, to go back. 
Well, Hernandez's insurance company, First Medical, would not comment to us despite our multiple inquiries. We also reached out to the Departments of Treasury, Defense, Department of Justice. No comment from any of them either. Meanwhile, Hernandez has had two more surgeries so far this year. He still faces months of physical therapy. Anthony, his family has been using a GoFundMe account that was set up for him to pay for a lot of these expenses, but the bill still stands. So that's 21 surgeries he's had now, Anna. This man, Alexis Hernandez, incredible courage and determination. Uh, I hope this gets yeah. resolved. It's, it's a ridiculous yeah. situation. Uh, but what he's been through is just... is. Well, is we hope so, too. Yeah. All right. Mm. Anna, thank you so much.